hey guys welcome back to the channel so if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos <laughs> yes um so yeah did i say welcome yes i did sorry i'm just having a baby brain because this little monkey looking at me and smiling and i just couldn't concentrate but anyway this video is going to be a lazy cooking video. Yes, because I'm a mother and ever since I had him, I don't have time for anything. Cooking seems like, ah, it's too much. So I just figure out a way to become more lazy with my cooking, but eat my favorite food at the same time. So today I am going to cook a lazy biryani in a slow cooker. Yes, you heard it right. It's a freaking lazy biryani because not much cutting and stuff involved in it. So, yeah. And I will show you how to cook a lazy biryani. Ta -da! <laughs> so, guys, here's the chicken. We're going to do the marination. Now I'm adding green chilli, ginger garlic paste and then I'll be adding some masalas which will be including black pepper, uh, turmeric, coriander, chilli and garam masala and some biryani masala I now I will be adding some mint and coriander uh, it's kind of I don't know uh, they, they give a nice flavour and a smell and then I will be adding some lemon juice. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know the quantities. Like different for how how you like, you know, it depends on the quantity and it change all the stuff that you put it in. So I'm not going to give you, you know, how much I'm going to put it in. And then I'll be adding yogurt uh, again. Uh, if you're cooking for four people, then obviously use your judgment to put the stuff in the right proportions I am terrible at giving proportions um, you know how much to go with certain things but anyway and then add salt uh, I usually use my hand but I don't know why I did this I used the uh, teaspoon to add the salt um, actually it, it was it was it tastes good I think I had the right amount of salt and now we're gonna mix with our hands you know um, obviously clean your hands before you do this and I'm gonna mix this I am doing this right now the night before I'm cooking so my chicken is nice and ready for the next day morning the longer you keep it the softer or and the, the, the masalas will get into the chicken and it's it's really nice you know it's it's tastier and so yeah i am going to massage the chicken with all the masalas give them like you know get it in nice and soft and yeah soft. and then now i'll be adding some oil to go with it um so i am actually adding sunflower oil you can add vegetable oil or whatever is available to you and then mix it again really well um yep and then our marination should be ready to go so as i have done the marination now i wash my hands and i'm gonna cover it with a clean film and it can go in the fridge and it will be ready for tomorrow morning so I have uh, obviously done the marination the night before and it's ready and meantime what I did I cut uh, two big onions and then fried them. Now I'm going to add it before I'm going to put it in a slow cooker and then once I add it I'm going to mix it not very well but fairly well so it gets everywhere. Uh, yeah, I one thing I'm gonna tell you is with the onions, just be careful how much you put it in because me and Chrissy we love onions. I think I might have put too much onions, and it kind of give a sweet flavor at the end. It's my honest review, okay? So when I ate it, um, it had a little bit of a sweet uh, flavor to it. I now I'm gonna put my marinated chicken into. This is my slow cooker. 
add the, I mean uh, the pot that I'm gonna cook in so I'm gonna add my chicken in and I am gonna add a little bit of water as well so I kind of uh, you know have the chicken will have a bit of water to cook in if the water if the if the water if the chicken have enough water in it then um, I don't think you need to do this but I'm just adding not too much probably like what two uh two three tablespoons of water that's it and it's uh actually ready to cook now as doesn't look that bad <laughs> um so let's put the lid on and put it back into the slow cooker so this is my slow cooker and it was actually a wedding gift i never used it this is the first time i'm using a slow cooker <laughs> yes it's in two years time this is the first time i'm touching this thing uh so i'm gonna put it in high and i'm gonna cook it for two hours hello buddy are you having lunch are you having lunch there you go So I have uh, soaked the rice exactly half an hour and then I rinsed and took the water out. Now I'm, after the water boiled, I'm adding uh, ghee and uh, other masalas, which is cardamom, black pepper, bay leaf, cinnamon steak, starnies, or uh, what else? Uh, some, yeah, uh, fried onions, it give it a nice little flavor. Um, and then a little bit of salt as well. I add everything once the water is nice and boiling so it's just getting done and once it's done uh, I mean once you put everything in the pot I cook it for seven minutes exactly seven minutes I don't cook no longer than I, I actually had a timer uh, usually when I cook my rice always like become mushy because I never know how to cook my rice uh, so this time I'm timing um, with uh, seven minutes yeah don't look into my cupboard it's disgusting <laughs> uh, so after two hours my chicken is done when I opened it, it was it was like it literally smells so delicious I could like literally jump in and eat it anyway uh, but I didn't uh, so now I'm gonna put the rice in uh, the rice is not sticky uh, and it's you know it's cooked fairly don't worry about the color it's because of the fried onions i put it in that's why it has like a brownish uh, color to it and once i put the rice in make sure you don't press it down otherwise you're gonna ruin it um so yeah um basically put the rice in then i'm gonna put some uh what you call uh saffron in milk and i'm gonna put that on the top and then rose water is a tip from my mom rose water always give a nice smell um so add like probably one lid basically the lid of rose water bottle you can see when i do it so this is saffron with milk um to give a little bit of color but actually i didn't see any color <laughs> um probably because my um what well, my rice is already a bit of brownish color from the fried rice but it does have a nice tingly taste again i added too much fried onions i yeah don't do that too much fried onions just give it sweet taste but still my um my husband love it he does give a review at the end and then i'm gonna add some uh ghee uh once that done it uh you basically cover it and 35 minutes and your biryani is ready and I mean once my biryani was ready I kept it in warm so it's nice and warm when we eat it um, now I'm go gonna plate it actually I'm really hungry so I'm gonna eat it uh, first uh, and yeah and I'm gonna plate my biryani and I'm gonna eat it and I will ask my husband how does it taste like and you can see his honest review uh, about his wonderful wife cooking. <laughs> 
So my biryani is ready. I made some fried chicken. I'll give this recipe at some other time. And I made some onion raita to go with it. It's nothing else. It's yogurt, onion and um, some salt. And that's it. Perfect. Bye bye. Mm. Soft rice. It's nice. Perfectly cooked. Thank you. Mm. It's better than normally how I cook, doesn't it? It is better, yeah. But then there's a little bit more onions. Apart from that, it's good. Mm. Because the onion gives very kind of like a sweet flavour. It's definitely a different flavour to your normal dumb biryani. Yeah. But it's better. Oh. Definitely better. All right, then. I'm glad you're liking it. Mm. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And, and I hope you liked my lazy biryani. If you have a slow cooker, don't forget to try this out. <sighs> I am tired. I am tired. But anyway, if you want to watch our, our videos more often, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I will be seeing you guys on my next video. Until then, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye bye. Ow. Right. Okay. Bye.